But my guess is Valdo doesn't even know what it is because nobody does it here. Nobody oh. does the neutral <laughs> start. We don't even know what that is. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is three, two, one. <laughs> Baldo smiling, and we're going straight into it, guys. So with Hugs being on this stage, of course, if he gets a screw attack, he can edge cancel it, which, which will definitely help him out when he gets pressured by Fox. Uh, Valdo will, will usually start games uh, camping one of the two platforms, the side platforms, because that allows him to watch how his opponent uses projectiles and how he watches uh, center stage. Ah, it's actually pretty good. Oh, I... I like the Robaldo spacing right now with the lasers. It doesn't look like he's trying to actually attack hugs like a lot of uh, aggressive foxes would. Instead, he's using more lasers. Very smart. Valdo is typically a very, very defensive fox. Mm -hmm. Only lately he's starting to uh, implement some aggressive techniques in his game. But he's still a pretty um, conservative playstyle. And especially against a character like Samus, I think that's a good strategy to have, right? Because you don't want to, uh, you know, get crouch cancel down smash and hugs taking yeah. the first stock right there again over Clean. Baldo. Mm -hmm. Clean. Oh my God, you don't want to get stuck in that shine. Definitely not. As you saw, hugs was able to easily just up be out of shield. Uh oh. Yeah, it's looking a little rough right now. Oh, crazy combos here by hugs. It's top platform, hugs saw coming. Sixty-eight percent, just like that. Very clean. And that dash attack was actually pretty good. You know, it covers a decent amount of range, and uh, uh, the knockback is good enough to either set up for a combo or an edge guard. Oh, there it is. Combo opportunity. Oh. But Hugs misses the tech chase. Oh, Valdo's looking a little bit nervous, honestly. Yeah, you're actually right about that. You see how he, he looks like he's maybe overthinking situations. Ooh. Ooh, and yeah, there is recovery when you come out of the shine. So Hugs caught him right there with a the missile. You don't want to let go that soon. I like that, Baldo making sure to use the platforms to try to weave around the missiles. Not too bad. But here's the thing, a great thing. Oh, oh. God, nice shot, Hugo, man. This guy, I tell you, he's very good at confirming off of these grabs and getting grabs too, you know? Yeah. Throws people off. Oh, man, I'm fearing for Baldo right now. Hugo is just looking scary. Yeah, way, way too solid. Is right outside of the range. There it is. Baldo nice. finally manages to get that stock, but it was it took two minutes and 30 seconds. Mexico on the board. Yep, look at that. Will he be able to take the game, though? He does have a deficit. Oof. Very bad approach, actually, because he's too low a percent. He's obviously going to crouch cancel that. Exactly. Oh, the flames. And Baldo got hit right as you try to initiate the shine right there on the platform. Oh, getting something. Oh, my God. Nice. Oh, yes. actually, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Catching hugs as he's tech rolling in. Good patience by Baldo. It looks like he's starting to slowly bring it back, you think? I think he's starting to uh, see how Hugo likes to play. Mm -hmm. Baldo is a very, very, very uh, mindful person. Yeah. Very, very smart player. He will usually lose the first game, lose the first two games, and then make a huge comeback because he's one of those players almost like Hugo, you know? True. They'll very, very smart. Yeah, they'll take their time, right? Try to just pick you apart like a like a surgeon. Almost. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh. Oh, oh Hugo's looking scary with that charge shot. Yeah, he definitely has that psychological advantage. Oh, oh he caught him. Good high recovery so far, but Hug seems to be getting all these punishes. Up smash, not quite KOing him. Good DI by Hugo. Getting stuck in his movement a little bit. Oh, that was very good. Hugs realizing that his shield got so small, right? He had to screw attack there or he might have got shield stabbed. Oh, look oh, at that man. chase. That was, he overshot that dash attack. Very smart. I love how he covers his approach with those missiles. Mm -hmm. That's an... Oh, Baldo. Almost got caught there by the force smash. Yeah, that's punishable. And let's see how Hugs gets this edge guard. Valdo thought he was going to reach jump. Yeah. Oh. I actually thought Valdo was going to go straight up to the top platform, but Hugs taking game one. Man. You know what's funny? Um, mm. Hugs was telling us last night how he has everything to lose this tournament, right? Because when people lose to him, oh, it's Samus. I don't know how to play against Samus, right? <laughs> when he wins, uh, that's, that's what people do. And then when he loses, he says, oh, I'm better than you. Oh my gosh. So when he loses, people 
people say Complain that. Complain about oh, Samus. Okay, so if he beats them, they're like, oh, it's because I don't know the matchup. Yeah. And then if they beat him, oh, I'm better than I'm Hugs. better than Hugs. Wow, poor guy. Doesn't win. <laughs> That's all good, though. Yo, Hugs has been around the block for a long time. Been playing Smash for many years. Ooh. But yeah, like you said, Yoshi's story right here. Let's see how Hugs manages to do on the stage. Oh. This is actually Baldur's kind of pick, so, you know, Baldur probably trying to just keep it close with oh. Hugs. He can definitely get the KOs off the top. It's interesting to me because uh, usually Baldur prefers the larger stages. Mm. I think Dreamland is one of his best picks. But uh, it's, yeah, like you said, the matchup. Yoshi's is very good stage against Samus. That's if uh, Hugs actually gives him an opportunity to get any combos into, like, an up air or an up smash, you know? Oh, oh yes. So far, nice. looking like forcing Hugs to recover on stage so that he can punish the landing lag from his screw attack can probably give him an opportunity to get an up smash. Hugs is starting to uh, read all of his rolling patterns. Mm -hmm. He's getting too many of those grabs, too many of them. And I think one of my favorite things about Hugs, too, is how he likes to mix up either like a B out of shield, you know, screw attack, or the grab. And he'll throw people off because sometimes they'll block thinking the screw attack is coming. Yeah. A lot of people here were talking about uh, how it's it literally impossible to shield Treasure Hugo because he's so on point with those screw attacks. So yeah. on point. And it's scary too because if you don't like shield, you can get shield stabbed by the screw attack as well. Yeah. Ooh, that was good movement by Hugo right there. Okay, but he could have got a better punish. Mm -hmm. I feel like Valdo's uh, laser playstyle will not be able to. He won't be able to rely on the lasers as much here because it looks like Hugs is trying to stay close to him. You know. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That was really good aim right there. Hugs with the one stock lead. Mm. And it looks like Hugs is having a bit of trouble trying to get those crouch cancel down smashes. Good stuff so far by Baldo. Oh. Using crouch cancels himself. Yes. But he saved the grapple. Oh my Smart. gosh, he was recovering. He's nuts. Mm -hmm. And I like how he got the hits on Valdo with the fair. And instead of trying to attack afterwards, he just like snuck past him. Oh, he doesn't have to grapple this time, but the Cloud comes to the rescue, of course. Oh, Screw attack, a again. hitbox. Valdo missing his attacks here. He can't afford to do that. That was Ooh. such a good wave dash back right there by Hugs. Reads on reads on reads from Hugo. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. And oh, how do you edgeguard this man? How do you do it? He's having a very tough time here. Grapple. <laughs> oh, and Hugs is back. Oh, Valdo needs to watch out near the edge, man. I hope he doesn't tilt because of that. Yeah, a lot of players, that, that tends to happen to them. You know, they'll fight uh, other characters that are easier to edgeguard. And, you know, usually they're confident when it comes to air threats. But it, it, against Samus, you kind of have to be a little more pensive, a little more patient, you know? Oh man, this is oh. looking too convincing yeah. from Hogs. Definitely, he didn't have any jump left. Great wave dash back to grab the edge. And that was basically a 2-0 right here for Hugs over Malk. Okay. Pokey floats. That stage is banned. I don't know what they're looking at. They might as well move on to the next stage. I don't think Hugs is the type of player to gentleman to Pokey floats. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody nowadays ever. Yeah, did you ever see that video of Vigil versus Spammer way back? Oh, I don't think so. There was this fox that just kept running around on pokey floats, shooting lasers at a peach. Over and over and over and over. Bam! Yeah, man. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let's go. Final destination, game three. Hugs on the verge of a 3 0 here. I like the, the thought process because uh, he went to Yoshi's, he went to a small stage, mm -hmm. and it didn't work out for him at all. So this gives him more space, um, less platforms for yeah. Hugo to run away. I agree with the counter pick. Yeah, I definitely feel like Baldo's looking way better here. He probably, if Hugs opts to go to Dreamland, I think Valdo would be, be would do well there as well. You know. Yes. But we'll see. I mean, oh, Hugs didn't even dash attack. Nice, nice drift back from Baldo. But man, Hugs' grabs and his combos off of grabs are too crazy. Oh, the mix-up right there by Valdo. Just keeping Hugs guessing. Oh, shield battle. Nice. No, oh. you don't want to miss that. Not even Hugs wanted to see that, you know. Yeah. Whenever you're playing, you always want to earn your KOs, right? 
course. Never want to just get a freebie from an SD. Okay, Hugs is probably trying to read what Valdo's doing from these missiles. Whenever you put a projectile out there, especially like the missile, you want to see if your opponent will kick it. You know, Fox could kick the missile. Yeah. Or will they block so he could possibly get a grab? Will they shine? If they shine, Hugs could jump over and dare him. Full, hope, full hope neutral will, will block the missile also. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I don't think Hugo has missed a single grab. Mm -mm. The, the, like, there were, there, I think it was like one in the first stock. Oh, that was a sick tech chase. Right there off of the down tilt, the forward tilt, actually. Oh, man. Baldur doing those unsafe uh, jumps off the ledge. Yes. He's, he's not confident in this ledge dash anymore. Yeah, that, it, it that, sucks when that happens. Especially, you know, knowing that he's on his, like, potential last game, yeah. that's probably why he's doing that. Good um, stuff, though. Valdo getting a decent amount of damage off of this knockdown from the up, uh, Joel Chen up smash. Uh-oh. Man, Valdo is so scared of getting in Hux's space right now. Yep, if you notice the way Hux is playing, he's like weaving in and out, waiting for Valdo to possibly get in range to get caught by maybe a down smash. Or, oh, caught him slipping right there. Ooh. Another Nair? Okay. And there it is again. Hux back to play safe. Just putting out those four tilts. Oh, Damn. no escape. He cannot get away from these grabs. And he could grapple right back on there. Good job by Hugs. Valdo on his final stock here in the winner's bracket. Will he be able to bring it back? Hugo is too tricky with that. Oh, he gets the edge guard. Mm -hmm. Bringing Hugs down to two stocks. It's definitely a slow-paced match right here. There it is. And I love how Hugs never drops his shield. It's wave dash out of shield, wave dash out of shield. Wow. This has been a really good stock right here as well by Baldo. Okay, if he can keep oh, this nice. up, he actually could bring back this game. One drill shine uh, up smash to a tech chase up smash. And then after that, he just kept it, uh, kept following Hug where Hugs landed. This Look missile dance. Oh, he's looking for an opportunity to probably sneak in an up smash while Hugs jumps. <gasps> Let's go. He could definitely punish him as he bomb jumps. That's why you saw Hugs big, only do big. one. Uh oh. This is big if he gets this edge guard. Let's see if, the, uh, does Hugs have a grapple? Oh and he, man. he actually latches on. Good wall jump. That was so close yeah. to missing. Oh, it's a no. Oh, that was an up smash out of shield. We don't want to see that. Okay, that trade actually helped out Valdo. He's back in there. Not quite a KO. Still trying to, <gasps> oh, there it is, 68%. One more okay. One more stop and Valdo is back in this set. So watch the way he's jumping though. That's a jab. Oh, he might be done. Oh, typical edge guard for Hugs. Yes, very smart stuff. A 3-0 victory for Hugs, representing Dream Team. Moving on to the winner's finals. He's getting closer and closer to what you said, um, him possibly